aging and the brain. What time of day are we sharpest? As we get older, the aging brain can lead to problems with memory and attention. Often, younger adults will outperform older adults on cognitive tests. What if I told you this might have more to do with the time of day adults are being tested rather than their cognitive capabilities? Interestingly, studies found older adults perform better on cognitive tasks in the morning, but their performance deteriorates as the day progresses. On the other hand, younger adults perform better on cognitive tasks as the day progresses and perform most optimally in the evening. Why is it that older adults are sharpest in the morning, but younger adults are more on the ball in the evening? The answer might lie in our circadian rhythms, our internal clock that affects how we function at different times of day. The MEQ is a commonly used tool to measure one's circadian rhythmicity. Test takers answer questions about their sleep-wake habits and are assigned as a morning type, evening type, or neutral type. Studies have found that most older adults tend to be morning types, while well, younger adults tend to be evening types. In addition, there seems to be a cross-cultural shift to morningness with age, starting roughly at age 50. An on-peak time is when a participant's peak circadian arousal matches the time of day, and an off-peak time is when it does not. Researchers have found when we complete cognitive tasks at an off-peak time, we are more likely to be distracted, rely on stereotypes, and have difficulty inhibiting irrelevant information. However, older adults at on-peak times perform similarly to younger adults at off-peak times, showing a need to investigate peak performance time across age. Our first research question is to examine how time of day influences cognitive performance as we age. To measure cognition, we will be using the DALCAP, which consists of finding, remembering, or searching for cards to examine aspects of attention and memory. Our second research question is to explore the feasibility of administering the DALCAP remotely. We will recruit 30 healthy young and old adults. Participants will complete the DALCAB in their home once in the morning at 8 a.m. and once in the evening at 4 p.m., one week apart, to assess cognitive performance. The MEQ will be administered to examine the role of time of day in cognitive performance, and a system usability questionnaire will be used to see how well the DALCAB works for at-home testing. Our first goal is to examine if older adults perform better on the DALCAB than younger adults in the morning. Our second goal is to examine if younger adults perform better than older adults in the evening. And our final goal is to examine if older and younger adults perform similarly when they complete the DALCAP at on-peak times. As there's been previous success with telehealth administration of cognitive testing, we expect the DALCAP to be a feasible remote option. The results of our study may lead clinicians to rethink how cognitive testing is administered.